Welcome back, Jennifer Lawrence. We all missed you. What a joy. Nothing but good movies this weekend. Wow, what a, just, what a joy. Hi, everyone. It's me. Sound like Roger Ebert there. What a title. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Go look up his review of Highlander 2, The Quickening. It's awesome. Just saying, that's where that joke comes from. Hi, everyone. That's not what we're talking about today. Uh, we're here to talk about a movie. Movies and TV, that's what we do here. It's a movie that is streaming on Apple TV+, Plus, as well as playing in some art house theaters, uh, select theaters, and that movie is, um, on Raising Home with Grant, and I'm Grant, the movie TV guy, Causeway. Uh, Causeway is uh, the latest film from uh, A24. It is, it is directed by, L I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Lila... Nuge Bauer? I hope I'm saying your, that name correctly. Um, who, from my understanding, this is her first, first feature. She's done a lot of theater work, which actually makes sense for this film uh, quite a bit. And it's a really good debut, so let's cause away about. Well, uh, Jennifer Lawrence plays Lindsay. She is a vet um, who, after an, um, uh, an explosion in combat, um, caused her to have a traumatic brain injury. She is uh, wanting so desperately to redeploy, uh, despite her um, doctor's wishes for her probably not to be in the best shape to do so. Um, she since moved back in with her mother, played by Linda Elmond, um, and has sort of um, delayed visiting her um, imprisoned brother. Um, one day, while uh, trying to get her car fixed, she strikes up an unlikely friendship with um, a fellow by the name of James. He's played by terrifically by Brian Tyree Henry, um, who's the mechanic. They get to talking and uh, get to drinking and get to smoking a little weed and getting to eat some snow cones and discover um, that, uh, first and foremost, that uh, his sister formerly was a, a basketball rival of Lindsay's. As they get to talking, they soon form a very unlikely friendship James may want something more from this. Uh, Lindsay shuts him down and says, I don't really have boyfriends. I have girlfriends. Just regardless, they form an unlikely friendship um, brought together by trauma. Can they uh, deal with it, deal with their um, issues, and ha move, maybe move on with their life and find a new start? Well, let's find out. So that premise sounds insanely maudlin. But one of the things I like about Causeway, and I love this movie. I love this movie. In fact, top ten of the year so far for me on this movie. I mean it. What I love about this movie... First off, you can tell the director is someone from the theater because this is very much a two-hander. Uh, Alonzo Duraldi pointed this out, and I think it's fair to say that outside of one scene that is sort of a comic scene involving um, a rebuff from a guy asking Lindsay for a drink... To buy her a drink. There's not a scene that isn't between just two people in this movie that is an extended sequence. And that is true. Because this um, is very much a two-hander, uh, and the two-hander is more often with Lindsay and James. And Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree Henry not only have incredibly good chemistry together, you really buy this friendship, they are both phenomenal. I mean, Oscar-worthy phenomenal in this movie. They're both two actors who have always been good always been good and for Lawrence you know this might be her best performance at least her best in Silver Linings Playbook and I've loved her in just about everything I've seen her in and I know that we kind of had her briefly come back for a little bit in uh, Don't Look Up but this is really her first big showcase since like uh, a Dark Phoenix which was not that great uh, but it's so great to have Jennifer Lawrence back, and she produced this movie. She really, uh, this, I thought this was a really interesting choice to produce. It feels like a return to form for Lawrence early, in her, like, early indie work, like Winter's Bone or Silver Linings Playbook or things of that nature. This is so stripped down, and that's what I love about it. There's no big opening setup. There's no big climactic Oscar moment ending with a perfect little bow on it. This feels to me a lot more like the films of Richard Linklater, especially the more indie-focused ones, where you're kind of dropping in on lives that are in flux. But the fact that they're in flux is the plot. 
you're kind of almost like a fly on the wall in this story of, again, these two kind of broken people who find each other in friendship. And you know what else it kind of reminded me of is I sort of coined this term, and now this is more serious than this film, but last year, uh, one of my favorite films last year was Together Together. And I said in that review, I said, this is basically um, what I like to call a platoncom or platondrom, a platonic uh, rom-com or platonic rom-drom. That's kind of what this is. I sound like I sound like Miss Princess Carolyn in Bojack Horseman doing her wordplay. I know, but that's kind of what this feels like. It's like another platonic ro- ro- platonic drama. This was this is a really great story of friendship. Um, this movie might be come off as cold to some people, and I understand that because again, it is very much slow and meditative. And again, it's a fly on the wall, and there is no big ending. In fact, the ending is quite ambiguous. But I loved that. Uh, this is a really terrific movie. This is a really terrific movie. There's no big message here. There's no big point. It's just the lives of these two people in flux. And we see it with raw emotion, but not overacted emotion. It's subtle emotion. I love this film. And guys, yeah, again this weekend... You see it, bang, five out of five stars for Causeway. What a, what a great weekend for movies this weekend has been. Finally, we're kind of picking up the great movies again. Like, let's keep it up. I really love this. Uh, we're getting to the Oscar train, so we're going to have a lot of movies to talk about at the end of the year, so, but I'm happy about it. I want to give them all their, their due. Um, yeah, Causeway gets five out of five stars. Five uh, star salute. Uh, let's close the book on it. Train the Trash. None. I watched on Apple TV+. Plus. Was there shawarma? No, there was not. All right. We will be back later tonight, apparently, unless uh, that is a glitch, for Aqua Teen uh, Forever, Plantasm. Yeah, very different kind of movie, but a movie I can't wait to talk about. Um, next week, I'm pretty sure next week the only new movie we have is Black Panther Wakanda Forever, so you know what? Next weekend, if that is the case, we will also check out All Quiet on the Western Front, because I know that's one that um, people have been wanting to know about. Um, we will also have reviews coming up for, uh, The Menu, She Said, Glass Onion, Knives Out Story, and, or, or Knives Out Mystery, and, uh, uh, The Fablemans, among others. That'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all, I appreciate you all. I love how class is missed, I love you 3000, be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you wanna, give it a subscribe if you wanna. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do. Or so I've been told. Um, leave a comment, even if it's, hey, Grant, I like waffles. It really helps out. And if you want to find me elsewhere, reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raisin on Popcorn with Grant. Uh, some of you already have, uh, but even if you haven't. Or, uh, you, yeah, you can find me on, uh, yeah, hold on. You can find me on Letterbox at Raisin on Popcorn with Grant. Twitter at Ray's Grant. Sorry, I gotta have myself there. Uh, Ray's Grant. Uh, check out, uh, check me out on Facebook. Ray's on Popcorn with Grant. Serialized, all one word, all lowercase. Ray's on Popcorn. Check out my podcast. Ray's on Popcorn with Grant. Podcast on Spotify and Anchor. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And I want to know down below, what did you think of Causeway? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below. Let me know. And until we meet again. We're all raised on popcorn. Make my life extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care.